Now, in Surat, a similar situation, very, very uh, strikingly similar to what happened in Mumbai, also developed where 2,000 migrants took to the streets demanding that they be allowed to return to their respective hometowns. Now, the lockdown has stripped them of their jobs. They are left high and dry with nowhere to go, with no means of earning. These migrant laborers have absolutely no other way but to return to their native villages, something that they have been prevented from doing because of the lockdown rules that are in place. So the authorities, uh, they are protesting that the authorities should allow them to leave this location to go back to their hometowns. Police and R RAF, uh, the Rapid Action Force that has had to be deployed to control the situation in Surat. So there again, a major law and order situation developed because of the uh, migrant laborers, exactly like how it happened in Bandra in Mumbai. Let's listen into this ground report filed by my colleague Dishasha. More than 2,000 migrant workers and laborers in Surat's Varacha area in the state of Gujarat protested for nearly three hours on the road, demanding that they should be sent back to their native homes. In fact, the protest started at about 6 o'clock on Tuesday evening, where merely there were 400 to 500 migrant workers. But soon after, the number increased and 2,000 workers really gathered. In fact, most of these workers work in the uh, Surat's textile industries. And as we all know, that because because of the lockdown, the industries are shut. The daily wage earners here say that they have no money and they want to go back to their families here in concern. Another issue that they highlighted and pointed was the fact that how their food was not being supplied to them on a daily basis. And because they have no money, they do not really have, uh, you know, uh, they can't really buy food. So that was another uh, major issue. So the police intervened in this entire matter. Uh, they ensured that the food trucks were being called, ration was being given to them and only after three hours the protest was ended on the ground level.